spooky good night. I am drinking an Alani Witch's Brew energy drink and we are about to go work out downstairs. So I'm gonna put on a little spooky outfit. We're gonna do some Halloween themed Peloton rides and a Peloton class. And then I'm actually gonna make a fort tonight. I haven't made a fort since I was little, but I really want to watch like a nostalgic Halloween movie and make a fort. So we're gonna do it. And we're gonna have like some nice cozy snacks too. So it's just gonna be a Halloween-y fun time. And did I mention that Ryan is not here? So it's like a girl's night technically technically and i'm also gonna do a cozy bubble bath so we're doing all the things tonight i'm just having a ton of fun so come along with me let's go I just started my period today. So I'm gonna have some chicken nuggets for dinner. And while those are heating up, I'm gonna make our fort. Okay, if you guys have never built a fort, I'm gonna teach you how today. So what you're gonna need is some dining room chairs, just some like taller chairs, you could use office chairs or whatever, and drape the biggest blanket that you own or two over the chairs. So face them all, backs facing each other, and then I have like a king size blanket, so I put that on top and I actually secured it with some chip clips just so it wouldn't fall. And then you're gonna take some pillows and put it underneath the chair legs, kind of like blocking any external light and that way you can have it dark in there. And then I like to put in some candles, some string lights, anything to make it look cozy and welcoming. And I do actually have some chair seat cushions on the bottom there, just so it's a little more comfy. And this is just phase one. I'm gonna come back once I shower and do phase two of the fort, but that's it for now. I was really craving a cocktail, so I figured I'd actually use this pumpkin spice martini recipe. I bought everything for it for my Halloween party that I hosted at the beginning of October. We just didn't end up making these cocktails, so I had everything on hand. You're gonna need vodka, Bailey's, and some sort of pumpkin spice liqueur. I just asked the local liquor store whenever I went in where it was and they showed me it. It tasted so good. It was really delicious, very like gourmand, definitely like a dessert kind of drink, but it was so perfect. And I'll put the recipe down in the caption and below, but yeah, you just top it off with some whipped cream and some pumpkin spice seasoning, and then you are done. And it was so yummy in my little Dollar Tree glass. Okay, we have to give it a try. Look at this pumpkin spice martini. Okay, it said to mix it a little bit with your cinnamon stick so that way your whipped cream gets incorporated. I guess it's the same as like adding in cream to your coffee. <laughs> 
That's so good. So good. It's time to go take our bath. I'm gonna bring Scooby-Doo upstairs with me and we're gonna watch it in the bathtub and have a nice spooky pumpkin-y bath. Mm -hmm. Nothing like a good bath in the fall when it's starting to get cold. Oh my gosh, that felt so good. So now I'm feeling, honestly, that felt kind of like that bath bomb stripped my skin of all its oils. I don't know if it was the bath bomb or the salts or the bubble bar. I feel like there was too much going on in there. Honestly, it kind of felt like a combination that you would use if you wanted to get a bladder infection. So I did not want to sit in there for long. It was really cool though, really fun, but I feel like only using maybe one of those things at a time would be perfect. So just using like, honestly, I could have used half of the bath bomb or just using the bubble bar or just using the bath salts. I think it was too much all together, but it was still fun. We are about halfway through Scooby-Doo now. And I'm just gonna do my skincare. So I just put on the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Toner. I've been really loving it. And then tonight for me is a retinol night. So I've got the Trader Joe's Retinol Serum I'm gonna put on. I showed that little like coffee scrub face mask, but I did not use it. I felt like it would have been good for the routine, but since tonight is a retinol night for me, I didn't wanna also do a face scrub. So I did not end up using that scrub, just so you guys know. And I'm putting on the Depology Caviar Serum Stick underneath my eyes as an eye cream. And then for my moisturizer, I'm just going in with my trusty handy dandy CeraVe moisturizing lotion. Okay, that is it for skincare. Now I'm gonna go in with my pumpkin swirl cake body cream from Bath & Body Works. I think I wanna pick up something else in this formula, maybe the lotion to save for next fall because I really enjoy this scent. So as you saw right there, I did add some more cushions and a blanket to the bottom of the fort, as well as a couple of pillows and some cute little items. So that is it for our little Halloween spooky fort. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was super fun to do. I felt like a kid again. And Kai actually thought that the fort was for him. So you'll see some really cute clips in just a sec.